morning, Mr. President. Morning. Anything happened during the three hours I slept? Per your orders, Pentagon's working around the clock to find Majid Nazar. Schools have reopened. They're down the NASDAQ. It both resumed trading. They broke down sharply. Well, I guess today's not the day to check on your IRA. Where are we at with security? The law enforcement's still on high alert. Ports, nuclear plants, soft targets like malls and sports arenas. Here's a long shot. Any good news? We slept three hours last night, sir. Ah, the little things. Oh, there's one more thing. Hook Stratton insisted on being your first meeting of the day. My God, doesn't she ever sleep? Morning, Wyatt. Morning, Mr. President. Congresswoman, what a pleasant surprise. Sir, it's been a whole week since Majid Nassar confessed to the Capitol bombing. The entire country is on pins and needles. Where are we on our search? We're working around the clock to find him. It's 50% of Congress. I think I deserve more than a sound bite. Well, unfortunately, you don't have clearance for more than that. Sir, every moment that passes without finding Nassar is a moment for the American people to doubt your mettle for this job. I think this is when you offer me your full support. Your boyish sincerity is your best quality, sir. I hope you don't lose it. Sorry to interrupt. If you don't mind, excuse us. Sir. What is it? It's Michigan. More violence against Muslims? No, but there's about to be. Governor Royce is using your Elizabeth Vargas interview as justification to start arresting Muslims again. He claims that your admission that you were asked to resign makes you an illegitimate president. He's reimposed the curfew and banned public gatherings. I'm guessing the Bill of Rights wasn't on the governor's summer reading list. The IAC. The Islamic American Coalition. Uh -huh. They're planning a peaceful protest outside City Hall in Dearborn, but they have obvious concerns. The first time, the violence was Royce's fault, but if we let it happen again... It'll be ours. Sir, I think it's time to tell the governor in no uncertain terms... What, with we... another phone call? No, we tried that. Look how much good it did. What if we send a legal observer? Monitor the demonstrations. Make sure the governor doesn't overstep his bounds. That's smart. Straight out of the Kennedy playbook. Well, we don't have many friends in the state, but I'm sure I could get someone from the AG's office. I can do it. It has to be someone we can trust, and who better than your newly appointed special advisor? You sure? Absolutely. General Cochran says he needs to see you, sir. Fine, send him in. Let's get you on a plane now. General, it's barely 7 a.m. and I've already been ambushed by the presumptive speaker, and I'm facing a potential domestic crisis, so please choose your words wisely. I don't need to, sir. We found Majid Nassar. 